Say hi. Say hi. Hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody. Excuse the hair, y'all. <clears throat> Just checking in. Hope everybody's doing okay. Um, today, they're putting a stay-at-home in place at midnight here in Lubbock. We've had our first death. And we're up to 53 cases. And I'm going to say I have the flu. <laughs> I talked to the Department of Health. Told them my symptoms. They were aware that I have um, heart failure. And they told me just continue to keep myself isolated at home, over-the-counter meds. And unless it gets to the point where I'm having chest pain or having a lot of difficulty breathing, um, that's all, you know, just stay at home. So that's what I'm doing. And I've got my little buddy over there. He'd be sleeping with me. Say hi. Say hi. So he'd be sleeping right there next to me. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. So I've been watching Hulu, Netflix, catching up on stuff. Um, sleeping a lot. So we've got the flu here, but not the corona. And we're good. That it never turns into the corona. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's kind of what Trouble and I are doing. Um, we are going to definitely stick to the stay-at-home order that's being put out. Although we've been stay-at-home. We've stayed at home ourselves for like, I think, three weeks now. Two, three weeks now. My husband, his job's necessity. It's life or death. Um, because they can detect the coronavirus through a CT scan. So he's home right now, but he will be leaving again tomorrow morning. Mm. But he has actually um, kept himself in the living room, keeping away from me. So, because he doesn't want to, if he grabs something, he didn't want to bring it home to me. So... I really, really hope that everybody's doing fine out there. I hope your family and friends are doing fine. And uh, Trouble and I will check in with you guys later. Bye.